Erler syndrome, also known as mucopolysaccharidosis type 1, Erler's disease, also gargoyalism, is a genetic disorder that results in the build-up of glycosaminoglycans due to a deficiency of alpha eliduronidase, an enzyme responsible for the degradation of mucopolysaccharides in lysosomes. Without this enzyme, a build-up of heparin sulfate and dermatan sulfate occurs in the body. Symptoms appear during childhood and early death can occur due to organ damage. MPSI is divided into three subtypes based on severity of symptoms. All three types result from an absence of or insufficient levels of the enzyme alpha eliduronidase. MPSI H. Ehrler syndrome is the most severe of the MPSI subtypes. The other two types are MPSI SHI syndrome and MPSI H. Ehrler shy syndrome. Ehrler syndrome is often classified as a isosomal storage disease, and is clinically related to Hunter syndrome. Hunter syndrome is X-linked while Hurler syndrome is autosomal recessive. It is named for Gertrude Hurler, a German pediatrician. Prevalence. Hurler syndrome has an overall frequency of 1 per 100,000. The mucopolysaccharidoses as a whole have a frequency of 1 in every 25,000 births. Genetics. Children born to an MPSI parent carry a defective IDU8, which has been mapped to the 4P16.3 site on chromosome 4. The gene is named IDUA because of its iduronidase enzyme protein product. As of 2001, 52 different mutations in the IDUA gene have been shown to cause Hurler syndrome. Because Hurler syndrome is an autosomal recessive disorder, affected persons have two non-working copies of the IDUA gene. If someone is born with one normal and one defective copy of the gene he is called the carrier and will produce less alpha eliduronidase than an individual with two normal copies of the gene. The slightly reduced production of the enzyme in carriers, however, remains sufficient for normal function and the person should not show any symptoms of the disease. Features the condition is marked by progressive deterioration, hepatosplenomegaly, dwarfism and unique facial features. There is a progressive mental retardation, with death frequently occurring by the age of 10 years. Developmental delay is evident by the end of the first year, and patients usually stop developing between ages 2 and 4. This is followed by progressive mental decline and loss of physical skills. Language may be limited due to hearing loss and an enlarged tongue. In time, the clear layers of the cornea become clouded and retinas may begin to degenerate. Carpal tunnel syndrome and restricted joint movement are common. Affected children may be large at birth and appear normal but may have inguinal or umbilical hernias. Growth in height and may be initially faster than normal, then begins to slow before the end of the first year and often ends around age 3. Many children develop a short body trunk and a maximum stature of less than 4 feet. Distinct facial features become more evident in the second year. By age 2, the ribs have widened and are or shape, the liver, spleen and heart are often enlarged. Children may experience noisy breathing and recurring upper respiratory tract and ear infections. Feeding may be difficult for some children, and many experience periodic bowel problems. Children with Hurler syndrome often die before age 10 from obstructive airway disease, respiratory infections, or cardiac complications. Diagnosis Diagnosis often can be made through clinical examination and urine tests. Enzyme assays are also used to provide definitive diagnosis of one of the mucopolysaccharidoses. Prenatal diagnosis using amniocentesis and chorionic villus sampling can verify if a fetus either carries a copy of the defective gene or is affected with the disorder. Genetic counseling can help parents who have 
have a family history of the mucopolysaccharidoses determine if they are carrying the mutated gene that causes the disorders. Treatment Enzyme replacement therapies are currently in use. Biomarin Pharmaceutical provides therapeutics for mucopolysaccharidosis type 1 by manufacturing larinidase, commercialized by Genzyme. Enzyme replacement therapy has proven useful in reducing non-neurological symptoms and pain. Bone marrow transplantation and umbilical cord blood transplantation can be used as treatment for MPS, abnormal physical characteristics, except for those affecting the skeleton and eyes, can be improved, and neurologic degeneration can often be halted. BMT and UCBT are high-risk procedures with high rates of morbidity and mortality. There is no cure for MPSI gene therapy. There is currently a great deal of interest in treating MPSI with gene therapy. This approach has been taken with retroviral, lentiviral, AAV, and even non-viral vectors to deliver the aduronidase JA, successful treatment of the mouse, dog, and cat model. Models of MPSI has occurred and may pave the way for future human trials.